hi guys welcome back to my channel technology and today in this video tutorial i will show you guys how to fix microsoft store not opening or not launching on your windows 11 pc or laptop so you just need to follow me so first of all make sure that your date and time is correct on your windows 11 uh, computer uh, if it is not then just right click and click on adjust date and time and after that you can adjust your uh, date and time okay and also check your internet connection is working okay after that you just need to check the proxy is disabled or enabled on your computer so for that you just need to uh, go to your uh, start or search menu type over here the command is called inetcpl.cpl okay so after put this command you can press enter or else you can click on this inetcpl.cpl after that click on connection here you will get an option called lan settings so click on that and make sure that this option is unchecked which is proxy server so make sure that it is unchecked after that click on ok after uncheck and click on apply then ok ok after done you can check your microsoft store is opening or not if it is not then i will suggest you to clear your store cache for that you just need to go to uh, your start menu type run and open run app and after that you just need to type over here the command is called w s means windows store reset then dot exe after that click on ok or press enter and it will clear your store cache okay and it will automatically open microsoft store on your computer if still your problem is there then i will suggest you to uh, repair and reset your microsoft store for that you just need to right click on your start menu click on settings after open settings you just need to click on apps from your left side on your right side you will get uh, installed apps click on that after that on the search window you just need to type store and after that uh, click on this three dot button beside of microsoft store click on advanced option after that here if you scroll down you will get a three option first is terminate so click on terminate then i will click on repair and then click on reset after that restart your pc and it will fix your problem so i hope this quick tutorial will really help for you and please don't forget to click on the subscribe button like button and share button and if you have any questions or questions then comments down below i will see you guys on the next one next video till then bye bye take care